Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. In this video, we are going to create this interesting presentation for this housing villa. And we are going to use Revit mainly and Photoshop. So let's just start it. First, um, just personalize this view. Let's say we don't want to see these all of these materials or textures if you have any in your view. So I personally like to use hidden lines and after this I like to have some shadows and some styles for lines or these kind of things. So and we go to graphic display option. From here we can um use check cast shadows shadow ambient shadow um, show ambient shadows i mean and if you want to have kind of a sketchy feeling uh, in your picture you can check this i like to put all both of these in one so just to ha don't have these kind of straight lines uh, and also in lighting tabs, I like to have lots of ambient lights. I think this gives a better feeling to pictures. Also, you can um, put backgrounds like the sky or gradient or even if you have any images, you can put them here, you can active these, but I also like to have no background here. So let's click apply and this is our view. I like to change my sun setting and put it like this. And also, if you need any kind of um, video for shadow for sun setting, you can check this video in um, right top corner. I have created a video for this. So now I'm, I like to uncheck this and yes. Let's select all of our building, whatever we like to have in our final render and select this selection box. Now let's uh, active crop region like this and also click on here. So if you have any other um, objects or like floor or wall in your picture, this can and delete them and you can have just this view in your uh, when you are going to export your picture if you like to have um, colorful like black or other colors you need to put your view from here uh, you can put your detailed level in course so only in this uh, with this option you can have colorful uh, sections uh, in your view or in your picture uh, also if you like to have other colors you need to select uh, the selection box and from here from properties you can change this to 3d view and after that you need to click here edit type and uh, here we have course watch materials here you can just simply change this color to red orange or whatever color that you want if you like to have patterns in and uh, this area this blue area you can uh, select your favorite pattern here but I like to have solid fill and I think this color is good so let's uh, continue with this if you changed your color apply and okay so now we need to fix our view you can click here to have an isometric view or here or um, wherever it's best for you and also you can just rotate your view manually you need to fix your view here and you need to just don't change it for until we export the view. This is very important here. So set your 
uh, crop region and after that uh, you need to duplicate this view go and find your view the R view is here it's 3d view and we need to duplicate it so uh, right click on it and uh, duplicate view select this and select duplicate with detailing now we need to split our views so click select uh, your section box and with this handle just move it to a point that uh, works best for you so I think here is good so we can see everything that we wanted to show so this is good for me and in other view here we need to do the opposite of this so um, we use this handler for a uh, previous view now we need to use this as you saw in previous view i um, put this handler near this window this window has three parts and i just deleted um, first part of it now in like you see here in this video i'm going to delete these two parts so i need to just do this handle to this point approximately this point yes so now that we have both our views like this this is one part and this is another part if this is okay for you now you need to hide this section box so just click your section box right click and use hiding view and element and also do the same for other view now that we have both of our renders let's switch to Photoshop so here just open both pictures in Photoshop and it doesn't matter which one of them you select just um, choose one and unlock it click on uh, the picture here and uh, and click Control A and then Control C on your keyboard. Go to other view and just click Control V here. Now that we have both of our renders here, we can see both of them if you just lower one of the opacities and you can see that we have both of them here so we need to move these uh, from together we need to create a space between them so to do this properly we can use a line uh, from here you can select one from here and just zoom in and do a line aligned with this line so click here and then you can see that you can control it with this point draw a very long line and leave it there so now bring this level to up and lower the opacity so you can see both of them now just move this one with and click move here and select it in your windows and just move it like this you need to move this to the point that there is no space and you can see space create space here they should have no uh, like overlapping or things like this check put this line aligned with this and just make sure you have spaces here so yes zoom out you can delete this line and just bring back the opacity 
so now we need to go to canvas size from here and just mm, make our picture bigger you need to just use mm, whatever size that you eat good for you I think this might be good for this picture select both of them and put them in center after that you need to just clean this part so we can see both of pictures click on eraser tool here and click on and this level this layer which one that is upper and clean it carefully so you don't delete any of this picture so yes that's it and now we need to just add some details and clean this space so um, click here to create a new layer and put it under all of the layers and after that click here and just fill your layer with this color with um, white color i um, like it to have a clean um, background so this works for me if you like to have any other colors or patterns you can just add in background now we need to add um, lines and we need to use this pen tool here if you click on it you can uh, use lots of shapes and colors you can change its size and other things that you might need here so this might be good for now let's just try it okay and um, click on and uh, the edge of um, one of your layers it doesn't matter where you start click on one of them and then click on the opposite side of it so now this is this could be one and just do this for other edges and you need to do exactly the same thing for other lines that we had here first you need to just do a line here and then you can just put it in top of them that you can see you can also put all of the shapes that you created with pen tool in groups okay and now you again need to just click in pen tool and click in the rooms and the spaces that you had you can see that we have our bedroom playroom gym entrance or lobby this is a um, workplace or office here we have our dining room our living room and kitchen here and also this is our parking so you can make a line for each one of them just click in um, the space the room that you have and click on this line so you um, make sure that you um, press shift and then do it again for other space now we can just delete this line it's here and just do this to here to this little pin now uh, for the final part we need to put takes and the uh, spaces names here click on this icon here and you can just go kitchen let's say our uh, color is white that's why we can see it so select uh, the things that you typed and just change the color you need to control 
T and press Ctrl T and then just rotate it 90 degrees then you can click V to move this after that you can select uh, your font your type Ctrl G or just simply copy it and then draw it to the next one then we need to just simply change their names okay so now we uh, we can uh, just um, change all of the colors or background as i said we can use patterns or images whatever you want you can also add other lines to here um, for example here or you can also use this for materials instead of spaces and just be creative and you can use this method for um, lots of other kind of presentations as well so yes that's it thanks for watching and hope it was useful for you hope you liked it and uh, if it is please give this video a like and also subscribe to this channel i will upload uh, much more videos uh, soon and yes thanks for watching and bye